Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be looking at objections to St. Thomas Aquinas' cosmological argument for the existence of God. This is going to be part one. Many famous philosophers have offered objections to the cosmological argument. In this video series, we're going to be looking at objections proposed by three different famous philosophers. The first is going to be Bertrand Russell, followed by two objections proposed by David Hume, and finally an objection proposed by Immanuel Kant. Personally, I find Russell's the most convincing, but decide for yourself. So, Russell's objection is that the cosmological argument commits what's called the fallacy of composition. What's the fallacy of composition, you ask? Well, it's claiming that simply because parts have a certain property doesn't mean that the whole has that property. If that sounds a little confusing, that's okay. I'm going to explain it. So, simply because parts have a certain property doesn't mean the whole does. Imagine a brick wall. What the cosmological argument is basically saying is, if all the bricks were red, the wall would be red. So, if everything in the universe has a cause, the universe itself has a cause. If everything in the universe needs to have something that explains it, like we see in the world, then the universe itself needs to have something to explain it, and the only thing that can explain the universe is God. But, Russell asks, what if all the bricks in the wall were small? Would that make the wall small? I don't think so. You could have a lot of really small bricks that made up a pretty big wall. The bricks being small doesn't seem to entail that the wall itself is small. So, that means that just because everything in the universe has a cause doesn't mean that the universe itself needs a cause. Because, simply because the parts have a certain property, either the bricks in the wall, or all of the individual particulars that are contingent in the universe, doesn't mean that the whole does. So, the bricks being small doesn't mean the wall has to be small. And the parts of the universe being contingent doesn't mean that the whole universe has to have an explanation. According to Bertrand Russell, the universe just is. Next up, we'll be taking a look at two objections offered by David Hume. Watch this video and more at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.